Ooh, people of the other worlds, let's start with the main quest of the game, and that is making Parvati happy <laughs> and getting her what she wants. All the confidence in the world. It's not the best choice. Yeah, I can. They told them I need to explain this with less of me. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. <sighs> Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Oh, just listening. Uh, hello, Raid, and you. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Don't you be mean to Parvati. You must be the town boss. Ah, I'll wait until you're finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. And no. I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? What the hell did you just uh, say about Parvati? Oh, God damn it! Ah. Okay, we can start with introductions. I'm Ghoulpool. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Well, I don't work for Spacer's Choice, man. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Well, ah, I don't learn no. Nah. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. The only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Ah, uh, frying myself. Uh, let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. By the way, I've only started with Reed Thompson, Thompson, Reed Thompson in the past, and I probably will do that again because it makes Parvati happy. Ah, oh, when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to do. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Ah, oh, I can't make any promises, man. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. 
Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. She is and she will. Sure, I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Oh, yeah. Co companions, I got it, I got it. Hey, 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 we got ourselves a Parvati. Parvati. We, know. we better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, I just need to get her into a good form now, position. Right, Parvati. Not the best biting. It's not the best choice. Let's see if this is the best choice. Oh no, that's not the best choice either. Um, the, the, nothing is the best choice apparently. It's kind of looking effed up. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. You got a minute? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We talk. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Uh, nope. What he, sa what he said seemed pretty straightforward to me. Sure, it all comes together seamless in his own head. And I reckon he means well, for all that. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Ah. Oh. Did you know this Adelaide Reid mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Uh, too much text, which is the option with the least text. I'm sure the deserters are fine people, so what? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Next episode. Next episode. I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my yeah. dad used to say anyways. Always think about the repercussions. The things that get you in trouble. Oh. Huh. Looks nice at night. Provati. We need a thumbnail. Nah. There. 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 There we go. Cook. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Where's the entrance? Can I go in here? I can. That's. Ooh. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Okay, where do we start? Where do we start? With the loot in the back. <laughs> I saw. I saw it. Oh. Oh. You're not gonna tell me, right? Yep. Three. That's three on the house I've heard. Take off, take off, take off. Shh, Pavati. If they actually see us, I mean, ah. Oh. They tell me first that I can't do that. That's 
that's the thing to do first. Um, no, not yet. Even though the landing pod is there, from what I remember. Okay, so I'm Parvati, where is she? Parvati. She has a normal pistol. I don't have anything better for her. I've got a bolter pistol. Hmm. Let's go for that. The hammer is what she has. Even though the bolter pistol would be pretty good for me too. Okay, um, can I give her something already? No. Oh god. Nothing, just don't want to fall sick. What's that? General store, that's what I need. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb, got my eye on you, girl. What did you do with the vending machine? It's broken. What did you do, man? Talk. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. Tell me what incidents. No, tell me. Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. Oh. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. And she's already inside. I've got some questions for Go you. Go right ahead. Tell me about the incidents. Where? I wanna... No. The incidents. Ah. What's it take on this place? What? You mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's, uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest <sighs> little town on Terra 2. Ah, oh, that's it. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Ah, oh, the bliss. Nah, that's I'm gonna be nice to Edgewater. Just for poverty. I'm glad you're so optimistic. I have every reason to be. I caught a real break working in a place like this. Mm. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yes, actually right was. Ahead. Tell me about the vending machine right now. So about this plague that was supposed to be going around. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Ah, uh, uh, are you done being delusional or shall uh, wait? Should I wait? I take umbrage with your choice of phrase. We ain't sick, we're rugged. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness. But the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. It's just, it's just COVID, man. It's just a little bit of a cough, nothing more. What do you mean by that? Um, uh, yeah, what do you mean by that? Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature. Uh, okay. It's company policy. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Mm, mm, mm. Seems fair. It is better than fair. It's company policy. <laughs> Listen, uh. you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. <laughs> okay. Music to my ears. Music to his ears. Merchant skill. Okay, I can finally sell stuff. Okay, oh, I'm probably going to do that mostly off episode. Oh, the extra salt junk. Going to do that. Rid of all that useless stuff. Toss plastic that's broken down. I'm not going to repair it. With my money. Spade is actually a weapon. That's interesting. I'm not going to use 200 weapons. God damn it, that's 200. Plasma rifle. Let's keep that. Just because so um uh, i'm not gonna use too much melee weapons anyways that's good that's good i don't i'm gonna keep everything here yeah okay we cool we cool so mr mrs parvati come out tell me about the incident i want to know who uh you mean why i'm not allowed in the store anymore yeah out with it. There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. No. Nope. Did you steal from it or something? Not intentionally. Uh. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, 
Oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Ah. Oh. You picked the lock on the vending machine. Well, sure. We're not tough. Even back then, before I got real good at that sort of thing. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch, making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Oh. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of Zero-G? No. Nope. Go on. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Oof. Rose still angry at me. Oof. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's continue. Where the hell am I? Rations yet? Santana. Yep. Whole cans of Saltuna. <laughs> let's start by the entrance of the town. You. Go. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Let's go in. And press the wrong buttons all the time. Oof. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't you want look, to be seen around me. You look fit. You look fit. Like an endurance athlete. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Trust me, my immune system is top shelf. Ah, uh, why? What's going on here? Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. You've got a cool voice though. Medical dump. What? That's a combination. <laughs> oh, that's actually the Corona cure. Medical and dump. You should get real drunk. Alcohol kills germs. That makes no sense that that's both of those I, things. I'm not allowed to leave the sick house. Even if I were, I shouldn't be at the cantina. Oh. Why not? I don't want to spread what I've got. Oh. And I don't want to bring their spirits down. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, do you see that? That's going to be everybody's future. Ah, uh, it's a little late for that. I'm glad you see things my way. And not for nothing. But I appreciate you giving me the time of day. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. No, you're my new companion. Follow me. Right, Parvati? Right. 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 There's only one other Parvati mod. Except for the hair colors, and that's an Emo Parvati mod. Eh, doesn't strike me right. The Professor Half Lens. That's not stealing. Just in case. Uh, just in case, just in case. Thick. That's not stealing. Hey, mom looks sexy now. I like those tentacles. Whee! Oh, God, I need to upgrade that suit and play that suit only. The hypernation suit. <laughs> oh, it's just, ah, there's a third person somewhere somehow. I can take that stuff, right? Yeah. Semi formal. Flywheel. Mine. It's mine. I'm gonna take it. Somebody else important here. The spreads. <laughs> Somebody thought about killing the spreads. I'm not sure if that gets me in trouble. Waste of company ammo. Oh, they did kill the spreads. Thanks for the free loot, man. You know there are spreads everywhere. Spreads everywhere. Oh, he that's stealing, but the other ones weren't stealing. Oh, I should sleep in the sick home. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Ah, oh, said no one ever, and I did it. <coughs> you, sick resident. That's a hell of a name. Get back to work, you lazy fools. Okay. I'm hungry and thirsty, and I need to do squats. Ah, me Totaro sauce. That's actually health. I mean, that's actually food. Yeah, a little bit. And more water. Where are. May I drip tea? Tea. That's tea. Is that water? That's water. Okay. One more. Oh boy, I'm gonna be spending a lot of money and get money on resources. I see the red barber shop. That's a quest. God damn it. Let's talk I to the guy. My own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. I also cut my own hair. God, me and Pavadi, just a dream team. Hey, yo, Conrad. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. If you say so. Oh, do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? I can show you my hands. Nope. We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. That's a weird combination, man. Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I don't understand the word you said. I mean that I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. <laughs> ah, that's some quality drama, Conrad. Werner, you should audition. Thank you, no. I despise the serials. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Ah, uh, hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Do you hear that, Pavadi? And oh, just because of you, because you do not let him cut your hair. Ah, just give Salas an IQ of what that means. Not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Oh, well. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Um, 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 there's something here, examine. I feel like I just got what I need. Nope, not gonna steal from him. He ain't got anything. God, standard troop armor. Oof. was necessary man hey hey what can i do for you ah uh, eugene ah uh, you sound like you had some training i know a thing or two about medicine oh am i in the company of a fellow doctor <laughs> no ah uh, only if you use the term doctor loosely i am a spacer's choice certified surgeon and if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. 
Okay. Um, that did not lead me anywhere. I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your craft side face? You know about Eugene? How? I can read. Ah, uh, dumb shrug. Were you snooping around in my things? <laughs> or was it just dumb luck? <laughs> Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Ah, uh, I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Yeah. Oh, okay, I just needed to collect your dues. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye. Thank you. Oof. Oof. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I need to check it. I need to check it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. That actually looks quite good again. Damn. Damn. Pavadi ain't looking good though, <laughs> and other humans, just not humans, but the sky, man, and the birds flying through. Just look at the sky, man. Oh, and don't get lost in the trip. Oh, that's, ooh, yeah, that's trippy. They. Another day at the cannery. You shut the don't fuck go up. Work. God damn it. Oh. At least we've got work. Ah. Uh. Back to it. Um, Cantina wasn't in there before. Yeah, it's, it's You're the not first. a big drinker, are you? No, man, I don't drink anything. I'm sober. Because we see eye to eye, Papati. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk had enough. The fuck. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Ah. Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to. To, uh, where am I again? That voice gets, gets often used and it sticks out. Ah, uh, you're drunk. What? No, I'm Winslow, Lester Winslow. Says so right on my permanent record. Ah, uh, I just don't vomit on my shoes. Oh, it's fine. I I'm only on my third bottle. Uh. I don't start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three company lets me imbibe as much zero-g brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? <laughs> you injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on zero-g brew. <laughs> After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. <sighs> You're lucky, <laughs> dude. Five percent, damn. Uh, he's so lucky. You sound like you need a surgeon. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. And you're bald. Good luck, man. Good luck. Okay. It's you. Oh, God damn it! Every time. I don't know you. I don't know you too. Oh. Uh. Excuse me. I know every face that walks through those doors. Except yours. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Yeah, I can see that you're company old by wearing a shirt with buttons. Uh, it's only uh, missing a logo. Something going on here that I should know about. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand. But you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. 
can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. <gasps> oh. Yeah, Reed mentioned those. Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their post. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, chatting, Go I guess. God. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what if I told you I just got shot into space by a crazy scientist? Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. Uh, I'm not joking. My skateboard landed in the hose on top of a guy. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. Revile? My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Revile, I'm pretty sure that is something I've heard never before. Sounds cool. It almost sounds like you're afraid to go outside. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. So they actually provide this voice, or just... Oh, okay. God, she has actually a to talk about. Oh, fine, I'll drop it. See that you do. I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. Oh, we're gonna see him in the next part. Oh, okay, now, now it's enough small talk. There's so much small talk. Let's use the restroom mostly to steal. Party. Close the doors behind you. God, you're rude. Oh, no. Let's just crouch first. Oh, did you see that? Okay, I changed my mind. Everybody went red for a second. Let's not do that. Is oh. there anything worth taking, actually? I don't want to get myself into trouble for nothing. I mean, I'm going to be pretty careful anyways. Often it's just not that worth it. God, why the hell am I still pressing all the wrong buttons? That's free stuff. I like free ammo. Better than free beer. Okay, I'm going to just make a talking episode. And talk my way through the town, except for the vicar, and then... And the next part is not the section. 33 minutes, yeah. Talking hour. Who's that? Examine. Bert Berticaton. Dead or alive. Those pictures are actually good for thumbnails. If I actually wanna do something like that, I added my face in there. Chill. Dark Mabel Burgess. They all look very well drawn. I would be proud if I could draw that good. Because drawing faces is difficult as hell. Eating nothing actually. but salt tuna for a year. At least you got your health. That's good protein. In here. Seemed scary from the outside. I'm in Parati. We're gonna put some handcuffs on. Oh, bounty records. Open bounty scurry. 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 Okay. Maybe I did read through all of them. Hey, huh. don't I know you? Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. I didn't get any of that, but you look exactly like, like the lieutenant who just stood outside my ship. Oh, I've been top of Marauder 
problem. If you need help with your marauder problem, I'm high. As a spacer's choice constable, I am oh. authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. I've got some question for you, if you don't mind. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Yo. No, I don't know what you mean. Does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Ah. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Looks like there's a bounty on the set. Ha, <laughs> now that he kidnapped me, I froze my body and shot me into space. Then I landed here. Mm-hmm. Shot you into space? You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice Constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. No, I'm not lying, man. It's a good thing I don't belong to the Spacer's Choice family. It is for a Spacer's Choice. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Okay, and who has that for a tie? Ah, uh, who do I talk to? Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. We gotta take care of that, don't you worry. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Where's the loot? They hide so much loot behind buildings. Uh, we're gonna need to sell stuff so I can drink water. Ain't that your home, Pavati? This is where the magic happens. Well, science. Hey, that's. I mean, if you need it. <laughs> uh, yeah. What kind of magic happens here? Tell me about it. No, I'm taking that too. Don't you worry. It's a team effort, workbench, body mag, aperture, take it, mine, mine, that's actually a nice house you got here, oh, I'm gonna sleep in your bed, with or without you, with or without you, I'm gonna sleep in your bed, with or without you, rather with you, Pavadi, is not floatable and romanceable. So then, she actually got the best if house in here. I could open up a can of something. Can you cook me something fresh? Like a salmon wok? Oh, taking all your stuff. We're gonna need it. My dad's. It's an office. Just my office. And that's the terminal. Open last search. First entry. Not gonna read it. Not gonna read it. Return. Not gonna read it. Open last entry. Not gonna read it. Cool. Okay, that's a radio. I'm taking it all. I got lager. It's just sometimes it's just for taking a pistol out. Where's your room? Oh, you like flowers? I can't find many kinds around here. Yeah, flowers are cool. They smell good, they're flowers. Uh, I have no clue which kind of flowers any of those are. If you need to go, I'll wait outside. <laughs> okay, okay. Those towels look not real. Thanks, thanks, Pavadi, giving me the privacy. Coming out here, people on the street stare. Yeah, because you got a nice effing home, man. Ma'am, I mean, I mean, girl. And a nice view. Damn. Look at that view. Canary is a little bit witchy. Bam. Screenshot. Yes, I turned the screenshot sound off. You're welcome. You probably all got used to that and actually would enjoy some screenshot sounds. To know I'll take a screenshot now. 
Whisper. I can turn the music louder too. Right now it's not that bad. Sometimes it just gets too loud. Back. I have a nice chill guitar sound in the back. I need to eat. Made Terra Fried. Spratwurst. Why not? Runter damit. Does this refill water? Damn. That's okay. I thought only water would refill water. But that makes sense. And I'm almost lost. Okay. Sheriffs. Is Vicar Max the only thing I'm missing? I'm pretty sure there are more people I need to talk to than just the barber. Okay, where's that list? Journal. Ah, uh, divert power comes. No. Fistful of digits. No. Okay, that's the mission. Um, where's the map? It's weird in this game. Whoa! Okay, right in front of me. Is that in the bar? No, it's not I'm bar. I'm pretty low these days. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Whoa, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. This spry is a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Uh, I don't believe you. You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Yes. That's exactly what I'm, uh, what I am. I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, <laughs> no. <gasps> Damn it. Okay, uh. listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Uh, you owe me something. You've got the plague. Get away from me, you leaper. Why not? You should put a sign over your door or something, or at least cover your mouth with a face mask, you fool. You become the town pariah? I'm already the oldest worker in town. I don't need to give him another reason to avoid me. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man? Hmm. What? Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Oh, uh, uh, why? Do what I can. Ah, uh, ah, uh, some dark gods. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, uh, on the other hand. Oh, uh, yeah. What can you I tell have me? It on good authority, there's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So you'll do it then? Yeah. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, grave sad face. Give him to me. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my grave sight fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine. And I'll see to your payment. Mm. Okay. Thanks. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Who the hell are you? S for Blaine. Oops. That's my way to greet people. Hey there. Abernathy is a well known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Ah, oh, what do you need it for, girl? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Uh huh. Ah, oh, that's not shady at all. <laughs> I'm doing right by the town. I'll tell you that much. You bring me that medicine, and I'll see that it goes to the right people. 
Yeah, right. You're chunky, aren't you? That's all I can ask of you. Uh huh. It's just a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Is there somebody still in town? Damn, I'm looking just badass and fancy. I should put on the other armor in the meantime and then upgrade the Harbor Nation suit. Ah, oh, it's worthless, sadly. Take skills, heck, plus seven. Damn. Okay. Who's that? A small grave matter. That's somebody in the factory. And the music is gone right after I turned it up. Lovely. That's what I love to see in here. It's coming back. What? Oh, God damn it. Um, upstairs. Yes, that's it. You. Oh. God damn it. Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Oh, give me your fees. I guess that. Fees. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh, what? You have to pay for a neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Oh. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Oh. Just between the two of us. I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. I'm um, using one of those things. Must be tough losing family. <laughs> yeah, right. Eugene uh, wasn't family. Uh, I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see. So <laughs> what do the fines? Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Ah, just a <laughs> spitting up on that while I was drinking it. Oh, because I found <laughs> that actually funny. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, he was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his Adams be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Uh. Oh, no. Stop putting your guns out, man. This is awkward in this game. I always feel like the touch button should be on X and not on circle. The circle grab button and bring web mod button is on the same thing. Okay. So tuna cannery, the only source of protein a busy worker needs. Uh, I could think of other sources of protein a worker could need. Uh, yeah. Nah, probably chicken too expensive, but they are at water at a water source. Okay, we're at the right place. Oh, that's actually XP. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. You look pale, girl, in that light. It's not your fault. Did he just leave? Good, 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 good. Workbench, I actually could tinker into that. Get it? Tinker into that. Mm. Got it. Heads down. Easy. He's coming back. I can hear him. 
Yep. Whoa. I'm not stealing anything. Okay, that worked. Apparently, use workbench modifications. Okay, think. Oh, ah, god damn it! Nothing. Nothing yet. What's that? Three more eggs. I need to kill something in the distant future. Twenty. What? Wow. Why is that so much better? Was that Pavati's pistol? Could be. Modify. There's so much on already on that thing. Okay, I can. Yes. Sure. Sure, let's modify something already. Oh, there's another porter pistol. That's Parvati's porter pistol. That's Parvati's hammer. Alright. Hook the door. Modify. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Do I have anything? Those are hard to come by. God, I need to put my points into. God damn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, the <laughs> buttons. 110, 110. 121. Mm. Sure, 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 sure. Where is he? There he is. God damn every time. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. You've got a pretty face, dude. So sent me. Now nah, let's go with that first. What are you babbling about? The war! The coming apocalypse! Man versus machine! Mm. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. They're gonna steal your job. Damn. <laughs> well, fuck me. Oh, they mean to. Just you wait. <laughs> uh... To mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Um, gonna, what can I do to stop the coming apocalypse? You can gird yourself in the armor of righteousness, soldier. Oh, From yes. this moment on, you are a proud member of the resistance. Viva la resistance. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Indeed, sir. I'm gonna do that. Landing machines. That's XP. God damn. Okay, where's the loot behind? Uh, there's always loot behind. Always. That's actually something I need. Since my pistol damage is definitely... Yeah, you know it. Hello, sir. Can't go in. Sorry, sir. Love your gun. Very fashionable. Okay, let's call that mechanic. Do I get XP? Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. And let's kill that thing. I can take it. I'm almost sure. Oh, not much ammo. That's useless. Oh, damn. I never saw that before. Huh. That's actually gonna be useful to me. I'm actually gonna need to repair that and tinker that up, that little thing of beauty and grace and malice. Whoa! That's good, that's good, that's good. Hmm, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. Oh. Damn it, I always need to press 54 minutes. I can take them, right? 
Okay, I need to check Parvati first, what she is. Oh, don't you die on me, girl. Ah, oh, distance. Close. Weapon mix, range, mode. Ah, aggressive. Ah, it's right like that. Here we go. <laughs> We're pretty good at this. Same. I'll need to tinker with that pistol and repair it. Okay. I'm not gonna mess with the creatures out of the wild too much in this part. <gasps> birds. 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 Birds are actually pretty dangerous though. Actually, pretty dangerous. Down they go. Maybe not. Maybe it was always. <gasps> Maybe not. Ugh. Okay. Not much poacher ammo. Where is that effing thing? There, I see it. Oh, God damn it. I was worried for a second. Hey, hey, don't you die on me, Pavadi. Don't you die on me, okay? I need you. Everybody needs you. You need to be alive and kicking. You're not Felix. Uh, okay, okay, I won. I put some things in tinkering. Where is it? Science. Oh, 20. God, I need to put everything in there that I can actually tinker a little bit. Apply. Yes. No skills, no perks. <laughs> oh, he's looking <laughs> so badass. So badass. Oh. Oh. I like the goofiness of this game. Let's hope they bring a good Autovolt stew with the budget of Microsoft. Nothing. Sleep, don't need it. Come on, man. I will probably put researchers into that pistol. Researchers? Tinkering. Money. Money. You spent money on tinkering. That's why I gotta be clever with selling stuff, man. Okay. Ah. Oh. I'm glad the supernova badge worked. Okay, let's go down. Ooh, no fall damage, please. That's deadly. The lava is looking sexy also. Oh, damn. Yep. Yeah. Oh, where's the hot? Where's the hot? Where's the hot? Don't need it for the rest of the episode. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's switch through again. Oh yeah. Actually, nah, I like the previous one better. I like the previous one better. Okay. Uh, where's the auto realm? Huh? I guess with the lava you can see the big difference. This one focuses a lot on pink and red colors. And the other one was focusing on what was a brightness upgrade. There are creatures everywhere around this port. But after I talk to him, I'm just gonna sell stuff and tinker. And that's the end of the episode.
Ludwig. Bring us honor, soldier. Yes, sir. Indeed, I'll bring you that. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? I did. Pulled its optic cables out of its headcase? Yes, yes. Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Mm. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you mm. need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Give Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. Oh. Tell That's me. where I've kept it hidden all these years. I'm gonna take the hidden secret weapon in the lavatory. You hid your secret weapon in the lavatory. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Ah, oh, yes. You're so clever. I'll let you know if I find it. On the double, soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Oh, it's this, this. Oh, first, this. Griff, that feast man. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. He should it, and he's asking for a little extra to uh, furnish the resistance with mechanical repellent. Mechanical repellent? A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. God, I need to get that goddamn cool weapon. Let's go, Pavati. Quick, quick, quick. Before the cleaning lady with the same voice as you have. Gets it and takes it away from us. Descendente, the descent hunter. Oh, put the pistol away. Where is the bar? That's the church. Not yet. It's not it time to repent. Restore. Need you later. That's the bar, right? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? The toilet. He hid it behind the toilet, somewhere here. Is it this thing? No. Do I get a quest marker? I'll probably need it. Oh, I find look at yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah, I don't have a <laughs> on. God damn it. Oh, text size four. Seriously? Okay, go quiet. Ah, uh, it was that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sealed. Did I get a weapon? Tan baton, toss ball, tremor cleaver. No, no, let's talk to him first. Sir, Mr. Ludwig. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? <laughs> oh, yes, that's all I need. Corporate to visit. Blessing from the gods. Can I examine it? Okay. This loaded quickly. Ludwig! Ludwig! Where are you, man? I got your package. It's gigantic. Bring us honor, soldier. Yes, sir. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. Oh. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, what's next? Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Already on it. Thump, I get it. You want me to go undercover as a mechanical learn the ways. <laughs> uh. You got pluck, kid. But no, can't risk having you go native. Oh. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. 
well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. <laughs> that seems simple enough. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Thanks, boss. Got a question Go for on. you. Oh, no. 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 What's that glorified? Is it, where is it, the weapon? The weapon. I don't see the weapon. Light pistol. Light pistol. I do not see the weapon, man. What? Is it armor? God damn it. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. Ah, oh, sad. Okay. Ah, oh, God, I need to repair already my stuff. Repair. Ah. Oh. And tinker. Oh yes. That's the right weapon. Good, good. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get a uh, all of it. All of it. All of it. Now oh, I just need to <laughs> Oh that's not quite worth it. <laughs> okay no I shouldn't I shouldn't I'm wasting money. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. This part is over. See you in the next one for more action. Peace out. Enjoy the resistance.